interior plates will touch on several issues that I think are important for designers. The first is the rationale for the project itself, uh, how it came to be, why it was located the way where it was, why its physical form was the way it was, how it responds to the people who use it, and, how, and similar design questions, for instance, how it was built and the technicalities involved in its construction. Um, the second issue, I think, is a very important issue of change. What happens to a project like this after the landscape architect has packed his bags and decides to take it out? The process of change is an evolutionary one over the years as a consequence of new programs and inputs. Changing over the patterns, design problems only show up when the place has been in use for a period of time or changing changes in philosophy. These are things that designers usually have difficulty in accepting, particularly when the changes are not what one would have done oneself. Now, Ontario Place has changed since it first was first opened in 1971, and every year I vow never to go there again. And yet my objections don't seem to be shared by the people who visit. My wife keeps on telling me, pointing out to me, she says, you may just approve, dear, but people still have a lot of fun there, and it's still a delightful place to be. So there we have it. I'm constantly reminded that the Ontario place is not my backyard. As a designer, I roll with the gear of the project here in this shop, you might say, into the water of the place and start it. From then on, it belongs to the people. For better or for worse, it will face away.
Sketches for the boardwalk 